Adding videos to a Quasar site is pretty straightforward. Check this out. I'll jump over to a YouTube video that I have, click on share, and we'll click on embed now. Notice that you don't just want to copy this link, you want to click on embed and make sure we get the embed link. I'll grab that, copy it, come back here, and then I'll paste that link that I just copied down. And let's grab this part here, the source, because we're going to need that. So I'll cut it and then just paste it here in a comment. And I also want the width and height, so I'll cut that and then paste it here in the comment. Remove the iframe. And now let's come up here and say Q-video to use the component. Make sure I've got the E in there. And then we'll say that the source is equal to the source that we've got here. So I'll copy paste that in. And there we go, it works. However, notice that with a normal page, at the moment we're using Flex, but if we didn't have Flex and we got rid of this, it doesn't really work properly anymore. Notice that the ratio is kind of messed up. So what we can do is put the ratio back into the video by saying ratio is equal to, and then we can just say the width divided by the height. That's why I copy pasted those values down. So we don't need this anymore. Save it. And I spelled ratio wrong. <laughs> and there we go, it works. Now we've got a really nice responsive video and all it really took were these two lines of code here. And by the way, getting this ratio right is kind of important because if you don't, then it's going to be difficult to add components around the video. So I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. But first, let's jump over to Vimeo and see how we do this with Vimeo. I'll come over here and find the share button. I believe that's it there. And then we'll copy this embed code, basically the same process. All right, so I'll come back over here and here is our source. Cut that and then paste it here in a comment. And the other thing that we want is the width and the height. So we'll cut that and paste it here in the comment. All right, so now we can remove all of this and then we'll use that source, copy it, paste it in there, and then we'll put the width and the height in there so that we get the right ratio. All right, so if I save that and then go back, everything is working nicely. Just notice I do have to play this video. So if I click on play there, in order to see the full width of it. I just wanted to point that out. The cover image is different in this video than the actual width of the video when you start playing it. So if I come in here now and say class is equal to background dash green, just any background there, notice that I can't see the background at all. Now that's good because it means the ratio values that I have here is correct. And the reason that's important is if I come in here and say top, for example, and then bottom, they're going to sit right up flush against the video. And they need to sit up against the video because it means if I want to style around this video, I have total control of where things are. Whereas if this is wrong, if I set that value to 350 for the ratio, well, now we've got all of this space in here. So if I got rid of that background and you had the wrong ratios, then you wouldn't be able to style correctly around the video. So that's why it's important that we get the ratio right. And it might be worth when you're playing around with this, setting a background class there just to check you do have the correct ratio and you don't get any weird styling problems. And notice that when I do refresh the page, we get those green bits showing. But once again, you want to start playing the video and then we can see that they disappear. And that's because once again, that cover image doesn't take up the full width of the video. So I just wanted to point that out just in case things became a little bit confusing. So that's about it. Quasar's Q video component. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.